Last time on God of War, we saw Kratos in Midgar with his son Atreus, who didn't know that Kratos or he was a god. And they set out to fulfill Fae, who is Kratos' late wife, final wish of spreading her ashes at the highest peak in all the realms. Now, because Kratos is coming from Greek mythology, he kind of ruffled the Norse gods a bit because of his bloody past and the fear that he would bring the same fate of killing all the gods uh, like he did in Olympus to the Norse gods. So Odin and a bunch of his goons and other gods kind of made it their mission to watch Kratos and maybe stop him from a few things on his journey. Now, the two, uh, Kratos and Atreus, use the Bifrost in Tyr's temple to travel to different realms, and along their journey, they meet a few allies. They also get to explore their relationship, and Kratos starts to fill Atreus in about his past and uh, revealing that Atreus is a god. They go and battle against minions and, and some gods like Thor's sons, Magni and Modi, who Kratos and Atreus kill. And then the two meet Freya, who is said to be, well, she kind of labels herself as uh, the Witch of the Woods, who helps both of the father-son duo on their journey. But then it's later revealed that her son, Balder, is a son that she shares with Odin. So she's kind of not good. So Balder tries to kill Kratos throughout the game multiple times. And although Freya tries to protect Balder from Kratos with the help of a protection spell that she put on Balder to make him immortal long ago, Balder kind of hates his mother and even tries to kill her as revenge for taking away his sense of feeling anything, which is an effect of the protection spell. Because of this, Kratos ends up killing Balder to protect Freya and as a mother obviously she's she's hurt but even though she's Kratos' friend at this point she still vows her revenge on Kratos for killing her son. By the time we get to the end of the game Kratos and Atreus finally make it to Jotunheim which is the highest peak in all the realms to spread Fae's ashes and there it is revealed that all the giants are dead and that Fae, Kratos' wife, was a giant too. And all the giants referred to Atreus as Loki. Now, unknowing to Kratos at this point, he also sees a prophecy that his death at the hands of Atreus will bring about Ragnarok, the Norse apocalypse, if you don't know what that is. And then the final scene of the game ends with the two back home when a storm hits outside and then they see Thor waiting for them. When I was caught up, I was like, oh, dang, 2018 had a lot. It was jam-packed. 